One of the big announcements at this year's CES was Panasonic's new EZ1002 OLED TV. And we've had quite a few questions about this TV, so we're now joined by Craig Cunningham from Panasonic to talk in more detail about the new OLED TV. So Craig, first of all, um, let's talk a little bit about the black filter on, on the EZ1002 and exactly what it's there for and what it does. Yeah, yeah, so that's a great question, um, Steve. And uh, what we noticed with the CZ950 when we launched that is uh, under certain conditions, um, when light was hitting the panel, that the black level would actually move slightly towards a magenta type color. And we noticed that at that point, we could probably improve this in the next generation. So uh, we've, we've taken that, um, that findings on board. And by adding the black filter now, during all light conditions, what we're capable of is achieving absolute pure black. So that was the reason for the addition of the filter. Uh, another interesting question has been about Peak brightness. Now, I know that you mentioned a peak brightness of 800 nits, but other manufacturers, specifically the manufacturer that makes the panel you're using, has been mentioning higher peak numbers, um, up to 1,000. Perhaps you can comment on what your approach is towards peak brightness on the EZ1002. Yeah, again, I can imagine this is very, very um, confusing for a lot of uh, potential consumers, but uh, what I can say is this is the latest generation of, uh, of OLED panel, um, and we are selectively choosing how we drive this panel uh, to fit in with Panasonic's overall philosophy, which is about being accurate to the, uh, to the director's intentions. So um, chasing headline numbers is not necessarily what we're, what we're trying to do with this latest technology. It's more about the accuracy of the image and the color and the balance between the two. So we won't just shoot for a thousand nits if we don't really believe that that's what's going to deliver the best picture quality for the consumer, hence the, uh, the 800 nits claim. And one of the striking um, things about the panel itself is the uh, sound bar at the bottom of it, it's part of its design. Now one of the questions that's come up is, how do you actually wall mount this TV? And of course, we uh, we consider that. So um, the, the sound bar fits underneath the, uh, the TV, integrates very nicely. Um, just, just below the television, but if the soundbar is not, is not required uh, and uh, there's external uh, sound devices and as an example, then the consumers can, uh, can disconnect that and just purely mount the, uh, the screen if that's you know, what they want to do. And it would use a standard wall mount? Uh, standard VESA support, of course, uh, with the rest of our TV range. Another interesting question has been regarding screen sizes because this is a 65 inch uh, panel that you're using on the EZ1002 and obviously people would like some options. Uh, can you comment on other screen sizes for this particular model? Uh, so, so what I will say about OLED is it makes up um, you know, the majority of our aspirations for premium TV sales uh, for 2017. So we're showing one model here but we'll disclose our full range of televisions um, next month. Another interesting question has been about the connections on this TV. Uh, where are they located and what connections does it actually have? Uh, so we support uh, HDMI 2.0A. Uh, we have four HDMI inputs uh, located on the, uh, the side and back of the, uh, the television. Um, and again, they're kind of beautifully integrated as well. So we have a nice 360 degree design on this as a de design is a big, strong feature for OLED. Now this TV uh, supports HDR, of course, high dynamic range, and it includes HDR10 support and also hybrid log gamma HLG for broadcast HDR. What it doesn't include is Dolby Vision. Um, some of the manufacturers are including that on their TVs. Perhaps you could comment on your rationale behind not including Dolby Vision. Yeah, so Do Dolby Vision for us, um, again, lots of noise about Dolby Vision, but for us, a technology very much in its infancy. Um, and what we like to focus on is how Panasonic tunes uh, the televisions to deliver the best picture quality for the, uh, for the consumers. So it's a technology that we will continue to, um, continue to monitor. Um, you know, we have a history of developing our, our picture quality. You know, we have reference status for plasma, for LED, for our previous uh, OLED. So we're very comfortable with the, uh, the control that we have of the panel um, rather than handing it over to a, to a third party source. In terms of HDR support, generally, um, does it support HDR for Amazon and Netflix and YouTube? Yes, yes, it will be supported for HDR, yeah. You mentioned earlier in the, in the interview about the philosophy of Panasonic towards this particular television and, and TVs in general. Perhaps you can just go into more detail about what the philosophy is behind the EZ1002. Yeah, so accuracy is, uh, is something that we're, we're striving to, to continue within the Panasonic range. So this is something we've built on now for the last, uh, the last few years and we continue to work with, uh, with key stakeholders in Hollywood. Um, you know, and the interesting thing about the EZ1000 is the development kind of on a, on a semi-professional level now with the addition of the, uh, uh, the 3D lookup tables. Um, so, you know, making a product which is good enough for professionals to use um, with consumers, uh, all consumers getting the benefit of it is really something that we're, you know, we're looking to bring to the, to the Panasonic range. Craig, thank you very much. Thank you, Steve.